Hello ladies and men and my non-binary friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rizzo and today we are playing more Stardew Valley and today's conspiracy theory is going to be the first, um, we're going to talk about the first celebrity death uh, conspiracy theory that has been made prevalent. Well, not really the first one. There was someone from like ancient Rome that people didn't think this was a whole conspiracy theory about, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like modern day celebrities. Um, so today we are going to discuss the Paul is dead theory. Um, I'm also going to do some questy things in here. You know, we need to get a couple more uh, copper ores to bring to- oh, God damn it, Crow, get out of here! Shit, I need to build a scarecrow first to save my crops. And then we're going to deliver these copper ores to Clint. And then we are going to go back down to the mines. Or we need to go get more copper ore and then go back down. So go back down to the mines, get more copper ore, and then buy the bigger backpack as well. Um, Alright, so... The Paul is dead conspiracy theory. Now, this is one of the few ones that is actually, uh, was actually encouraged. I'm not sure if they started it as a publicity set or if they just heard about it and then encouraged it. Um, but most of the celebrity deaths, people, everyone's like, no, that's not true. But in this one, they were like, oh, let's give you a bunch of hints, tell you why it is true. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have surplus, you might consider helping me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and a thousand gold when you're ready for it. I will do that, but I, first I want to get a coop. So that is also something that we are trying to do right now. Okay, so. Um, the Hall is Dead theory started in 1967. It was a theory that Paul McCartney had died in a car crash and had been replaced by the winner of a Paul McCartney lookalike contest. Uh, he was rumored to be someone named William, but I mean, Paul McCartney was clearly not replaced by a body double. Anyway, um, and around the same time, Paul McCartney had been pulling back from fan, or just from doing stuff with the band, as he, he had just had a daughter. Um, so he was spending some time with his family, which also didn't really help the whole Paul is Dead theory. Um, you know how people take the smallest things and spin it wildly out of proportion. Um, but the band themselves also gave a lot of hints to it. Uh, like in the Abbey Road photo shoot, they are all dressed um, in various things that represent, um, one of them is dressed in white, which represents life, one of them is dressed in black, which represents death, uh, one of them is dressed as a grave keeper, or, uh, yeah, a grave keeper, and then Paul McCartney is barefoot, which is a way that people used to bury dead people, which is other shoes. Um, so they did that. They also would put in, um, they were pretty famous for back, back masking stuff, so they would put in different tracks if you played the record backwards. Um, which, so they added some, so they were already famous for doing that, so they added some stuff like in Revolution Number 9, it says, um, if you play it backwards, it would turn me on Dead Man. Um, and there was also some other things like the, uh, sorry, I'm not all here today, uh, did not sleep super great last night, um, there was also the, uh, Jesus, I'm sorry, I totally lost what I was just saying, ah, uh, ba ba ba, oh, in one of the songs, they ter put on the phrase, um, Paul is the Walrus, which is a reference to a different album that on the back, Paul was the only one not photographed. There was also a different album that on the photos, uh, Paul was depicted as a mysterious band member. Like, they didn't show his face, I believe it was, and he was dressed in a different colored suit from the other three. So there was a lot of little things that they put out like that that really encouraged this Paul is dead theory. And, you know, so many people tried to be like, oh, no, it's not true, but then more stuff would come out of the Beatles themselves hinting at it, and so it's hard for people to, you know, know it was real. 
trying to keep the far art o fishing alive. I'll pay 90 gold to any fishing enthusiast who catches three herrings. Good luck, Willie. I don't know why Willie's voice is that all of a sudden, but it is. Um. Oh, I still don't have enough to buy a freaking backpack. Dang it. That's okay. Um. So, yeah, Paula's Dead Theory, uh, was really death- I think it was one of the first big, big celebrity death theories about them being replaced by a body double anyway. Um, now we have a bunch like Avril Lavigne. People say that Avril Lavigne was replaced by a body double. Um, there's a lot to the Paula's Dead Theory. Um, a lot of people who claimed that they knew it or they it was originally said that he had died in a car crash on the highway somewhere and then they just uh they just ran with that and decided that he'd be replaced by either someone named William or someone named Billy which could be the same person but because that Billy is often a nickname for William but they uh, really just let it ride. They let it totally run with it, um, or they, you know, they encouraged it, and they really wanted people to fully believe that Paul McCartney was is dead and was replaced by a body double, um, which I, you know, the celebrity death ones are kind of the conspiracy theories that I don't really believe um, all the time anyway. Some of them, some of them are believable, but not really the Paul McCartney dead one because I think he's still alive but uh that I don't actually know a ton about celebrities so I'm not actually sure if he is still actually alive but I don't think he died back in 1967 I think that he would just was spending time with his family and people are crazy not crazy that's not what I was trying to say but people get very very fanatic about things like this that is more what I was trying to say Ooh, there's a topaz rock down there. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. That's a lot of money. We need money. Um, oh, it takes forever. Once I can upgrade my pickaxe, it, it gets easier to hit things. Oh, I finally got enough. All right, sweet. So we will go and get that reward, and then maybe try to catch us some herrings. I don't have a whole ton of energy left for the day, which is part of... Um why you need food, like, uh, snacks. You can, you get recipes or you can buy food from different places. Um, you can bring it down to the mines. It helps you get farther in the mines. Um, anyway, so, that is pretty much the basis of the Paul is Dead theory. It's not a super in-depth one, um, like yesterday's was. I don't know as much about the Paul is Dead theory. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. I live out here by choice. So yeah, he's not necessarily, I mean, he is homeless, but that's because he wants to be. He likes to live out in the forest. Look at his little tent. It's so cute. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not a crazy expert on the Paul is Dead theory, but it is one that I find highly interesting, especially because I think that it sparks a lot of celebrity death theories. Um, I also find it really interesting that they either started it themselves or they just let it run and ran with it and decided to entertain the fans and also I mean obviously it causes a lot of publicity people are you know were calling in radio shows about it asking questions they were interviewing people on radio shows like they were interviewing um, like people who worked with the Beatles and you know longtime fans like people were really really dedicated to trying to figure out whether or not Paul is dead um, and that's something really interesting to me because, I don't know, I feel like so often people are just like, ah, oh, forget it, you know, it's so not true, but it was just, I think because it was one of the first of its kind, I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room. Well, maybe if you were nicer to her, she would spend more time with you. Sorry, they, I, I'm a little bit bitter towards Caroline because she's very mean to Abigail, and I love Abigail, so um, I gotta start trying to, I gotta start getting gifts for her. Anyway. So I can start actually courting her as well while we do these little quests. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I find so interesting about the Paul's Dead Theory. I think because it was one of the first of its kind, uh, people really didn't know what to think. You know, there weren't a whole lot of conspiracy theories at the time, I don't think, or at least not any that were widely 
so widely spread. Um, I forgot I have to go around. You brought the ores I requested. Thank you. Hmm. It seems these ores don't have any rare gems hidden inside. That's okay. Here's your ores back and your payment, as promised. Thank you, sir. Here, since I have one, I'll just show you what the processing geodes is like. So he's just up here with his little mallet, and you just drag the geode over, and he cracks it open, and we got clay, which is helpful. Um, I've been selling my clay, but I think I need to start saving it because it is useful. Well, I want to read that note first. Um, then I'll go back to talking about the There's a stack of metal working blueprints. Oh. Damn it. thought it was going to be interesting. Um, anyway, so, yeah. First of its kind, people were really into it, I think, because of that. Uh, people didn't really know what to think, whether to believe it or not. I mean, obviously, some people didn't believe it, of course. Some people were very, very into it. A lot of magazines um, produced articles on it. Like, there was just a lot, a lot of media hubbub about it, which I'm sure was absolutely fantastic for the Beatles' publicity. Um, although, you know, I don't know how great one of their members being dead publicity is, but... I mean, I guess all publicity is good publicity, right? To some people, but I mean, hey, it worked out pretty well for them. They're obviously very popular band and still are to this day, even though they are not even a band together anymore, I don't think. I don't know very much about the Beatles. Awkward. Um, oh, ta-da! Nice. Oh yeah, let's go try to catch some fish. Let's go eat something, and then we'll try to catch some fish. Um, but yeah, that's my take on the Paul is Dead theory. And that one, I'm not 100% sure if I believe or not. There's, you know, there's some conspiracy theories that have really solid evidence. Um, I don't personally actually believe that Paul is dead, but it is still really interesting to take a look at. Um, just because of how much media presence it received, how much publicity they received for it, how much work the band put into it. Like, they put in so much work into putting in back masking and hints and, you know, doing photo shoots a certain way just so that they can further convince their fans that Paul was, is dead and was replaced by a body double. So these little, right here, I don't know if you can see that there's no green thing out there, but right there is a, uh, where bubbles appear, there are more fish, is what I was trying to say. Um, so, yeah, that's how I feel about the Paul's Dead Theory. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about mm -hmm. that one. Um, I think that everyone is pretty sold on the fact that Paul McCartney did not die in 1967. Uh, and, but other than that, I, think, I still think it's an interesting conspiracy theory to look at for a few reasons. Um, and it definitely kicked off a lot of other celebrity death theories, like the Avril Lavigne theory, um, I'm kind of sardine, not a herring. But, yeah, so I find this celebrity one really fun to talk about, um, especially the ones, I, I kind of like the ones that are obviously fake, um, there's just something about conspiracy theories and letting yourself, like, question the truth or whatever they say, it's, it's fun. Oh, so the other thing with the fishing that I was going to talk about the other day that I forgot about is that each fish has its own kind of set pattern. So you kind of start to figure out, like, each type of fish has, like, a set way that they behave. Um, so you kind of get the hang of fishing that way, too, by using that. Um, see, that was another sardine. Like, I thought it was going to be. Sardines tend to hang out at the bottom of the thing. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. But you just kind of get a feel for the different types of fish and stuff. Um, yeah, Paul McCartney died in 1967, replaced by a lookalike who won a lookalike contest. I also liked that idea, because, like, did they already have a winner? Did they, I guess the theory would be then that you, that they hired, or that they had a contest just to find a, a good enough lookalike, or if they heard about the contest, and they were like, that's the guy we want to replace Paul now that he's dead. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and the theory was that they, part of the theory was that they said he had died so that, sorry, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. And so that they, not they said he died, but they replaced him so as not to break the fans' hearts, but then 
I don't know. But then that was part of, part of the theory, yeah, is that they Paul died, and in order to not hurt the fans, they got a lookalike. But then I don't know why they would give the hints that he was dead if they were trying to hide that he died. I don't know. Some 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 of it doesn't make much sense, but it's still an interesting one to talk about um, for all the reasons that I said, all the media and being the first of its kind. Um, and as you all can see, it has gotten dark, which means we are at the end of our episode. I'm going to sell these fish and this shell because those were not herrings and those gems. I'm also going to make a scarecrow real quick before we sign off. So we need wood, coal, and fiber. I don't think I saved any grass, so let me just cut some real fast. Um, fiber comes from the, not the tall grasses, but these little bushes down here. Um, those are the ones that give off fiber. How many do we need? 20. Oh, I have seven. Okay, this might be a tomorrow. A tomorrow thing. Let's see what we can whip up real fast while it's super dark. Cut down all this grass and get some fiber, baby. Oh, we only need three more. There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And then we can actually accomplish something. I mean, we did, we did accomplish something. We gave Clint... We finished Clint's mission to gather ore for him. He let us keep our ore, which is helpful um, because we need that for stuff later. And now I'm stuck. Now I can't get out because I can't see. I cannot wait until I find a ring. You get treasures um, after each five floors. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Oh, it was an owl. I forgot there are owls in this game. Um, you get uh, treasures after each five floors. Um, so one of the treasures is a um, a ring that gives you light, makes you able to see things in the dark, or at least it gives you a little circle of light. God dang it. Oh, yeah. I can't win right now. So, now let me make this freaking scarecrow. Thank you. Which means we also completed the advancement test and we can get 100 gold. Hooray! And tomorrow we should be able to buy that frickin' knapsack. We put the crow or the scarecrow right next to our plants. And now we have accomplished something and we can go to bed. And tomorrow I will be back at around the same time. And we will discuss another conspiracy theory. Like I said, let me know down below what you guys think of the Paul is dead theory. Um, or any other, if you really want me to research one in particular and you want me to talk about it, also let me know that. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. I'll be back here at about the same time. I'm really aiming for 3 o'clock, but I've been having issues. Um, the YouTube uploading is very inconsistent. Sometimes it's like 2 hours and sometimes it's like 20 minutes. Um, so I'm aiming for around 3 o'clock. It's pro in, in, around 2 to 4, really, is where I'm really trying to upload. Um, so, yeah. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.